This is the NFL on NBC for Week 6 with host Greg Gumbel and co-host Ahmad Rashad. The second half of our doubleheader features the only unbeaten team in the NFL. The Miami Dolphins host the Indianapolis Colts. Hi, everyone. Greg Gumbel along with Mike Ditka and Joe Montana. Ahmad joins us shortly. We're glad to have you back, Joseph. In Miami, weather could be a factor. Let's go to Jim Gray at Joe Robbie State. Well, Ahmad, weather will be a factor if we are to believe the National Weather Service. Where is Al Roker when you need him? The National Weather Service is calling for an abundance of rain, up to five inches. In fact, there is a flood warning in effect here in southern Florida until Monday. All of this could wreak havoc on the field. There's new sod that has just been laid here at Joe Robbie Field covering the baseball diamond, so that may serve to help the Dolphins slow Marshall Falk. Falk had a breakout game last week, 177 yards, the best that the NFL has seen this year in beating the undefeated St. Louis Rams. So what will the Dolphins do? Well, they will flood him with attention. In my mind, from what I've seen so far, I think he's the best back in football right now. You know, as much as I hate to say this to Emmett, uh, the guy I played with in college, uh, I think right now uh, he's physically as talented as anybody out there. They're going to be keying on me, and um, the passing game have been doing, has been doing great. We didn't get much opportunity to throw the ball like they would have liked to, but, um, you know, you got to stick with what, what works. And, um, you know, we're going to run the ball. We're going to mix it up real good. and. Uh, come out of there with a victory. And so the Dolphins know they need to figure out some kind of way to stop Marshall Falk. And in reverse, the Colts know they've got to figure out some kind of way to slow down Dan Marino. In fact, for Marino today, with just four completions, he will break the first of four major passing records that he is expected to break this season. Today for completions, which will surpass Fran Tarkington. And with that, Ahmad will go another significant record, which you had an impact upon. Thanks, Jim. Well, see, the truth of the matter is, had he called my number as much as I told him to, that record would not be in jeopardy today. <laughs> now, let's talk about the Dolphins. They are 4-0. Marino's breaking a lot of records, but there's bickering going on. Some guys say they're not getting the ball enough, and they can't score in the red zone. Well, I think the one thing they need to do, they need to settle down, quit worrying about who's getting the ball, and start worrying about getting the ball in the end zone from the red zone. Now, these guys, they all went to Miami. They assembled this big team for one reason, getting to the Super Bowl. Now that they're there, they forget there's only one football, as Mike said earlier in the, in the year. Hey, only one person can get it at a time. Sit back, you're winning, you're 4-0. Start putting the ball in the end zone. You won't have to worry about anything. It could be tough for them today, Mike, because uh, the Colts have the number one uh, rushing defense in the AFC, and Marshall Falk is rolling. Yeah, I love Falk. I said earlier, he reminded me a little bit of Gail Sayers. And I tell you, the last time I, re I remember Gail Sayers back in the early 60s, he rushed for six touchdowns in the mud.